That's the uh, chain that um, controls the, the, the gears. Yeah. Do you have to cut that off or is there a little pin no, or something? There's a there? chain. Is it there? Oh, right, yeah. That, that came that came with a chain. Yeah. Yeah. So then you uh, find screwdriver. Left lane. Is that a lock ring or something? It's super. So you then lift the sprocket off. Right, okay. okay. Yep. So we better get the guys in actually. So I'll just repeat. Get all the guys in. Reverse. Oh. This is the internal oh, yeah, yeah. Stermiacha three speed. Oh yeah. Are there any other guys in there, Tom and Kay? <clears throat> okay, yep. so these are going to become quite a big part of the tray. Um, Internal internal geared hubs. Steve, Steve, Steve. Um, you're wanted, all of you. Internal geared hubs are going to become quite popular. They're already started. The most popular at the moment is the Nexus Shimano, and they come right up from uh, three yeah. speed to eleven speed. So uh, the principle of internal geared hub is very much the same. Um, and with suburban bikes and recreational bikes, it, it's the most simplistic, cleanest gear system you can have. So, most of them are driven by uh, a the little gear chain. This is broken, it normally has a chain on the back of it. And that screws into a little axle key inside. And that, coming out, changes the gear. Oh. So little, little this is broken. So I've got spares of these. So I'll bring. Okay, them that's good. Is it only? Um, I was brought up on these things. Yeah. When I started the trade. The lock, uh, the sprockets, a whole range of different size sprockets you can have. They range from 13 tooth up to 24 tooth. So you can change the gearing of the bikes. So very simple. The sprocket just lifts off like that. It's on a spline. Yeah. Okay. And then you get into the guts of the uh, the whole uh, the hat. It was quite good actually. I noticed there's a, a hole on the hub. Is that for the lubrication? For the oil? You just flush them with about SA30 oil. Okay. None of the bullshit oil. None of those very lightweight mountain bike oils. Yeah. Because uh, they haven't got the load load bearing. Uh, <laughs> Can't show that to your kids now. No. No, it's, it's, it's been going to the vintage car club. That's all right. I don't know if it's going to be a 17 or a 15. Oh, These are all imperial nuts. Yeah. So not metric. So I have to get the next size down. I think the size 16 may do it. It's K47A lock nut. That's the code number for it. <coughs> How long has it been since you took it? Yeah, this shit. I remember that. It's probably thousands apart, that's why. That there is HSA 126. Just remember that, Tom. Tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> HSA 126. So, lock, lock, lock nut off. Then it has a... Um, this is... You see it's got a, 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 yep. a uh, flat-sided well, axle on it, yeah. <laughs> so you adjust the cone and then you lock the cone instead of having, like we've done with the mm. normal hubs, it actually has a little locking washer. 
which is a flat-sided washer. Wigan. Which fits there and there oh, on yeah. a squared Stops cone. It. See the squared cone mm-hmm. there? Ooh. HMW 147 that. Uh, which one? So with that theory, it's got to be... Um, as far as your adjustment goes, your adjustment's got certain points it can be at rather than... Yeah, point. you've got to get it to the... To the near, it's, it's, not, it's not actually well. it's not actually uh, squared up with the. You, you've got a little bit of come and go on it. Yeah. So you take the cone out. Repack. Sounds like this well's been too dogged out. I don't know. It's got a big history, I assume. Things, Maybe it's the first time it's been opened. semi started in about 1902. Yeah. And they were they they uh, were the uh, inventors of three-speed drive systems, which went on to early motorcycles as well. Wow. Harley. No, all the old English Coventry Eagles and um, BSA. Yeah, BSAs and all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's your adjustable cone. Looks good. This These things are just made of bulletproof. Yeah. I mean, this is 1957, this hut. <laughs> and look at the thousands of Ks, and there's just, it's not even stuck. It's still good. Same it's still Then you take out the clutch spring. Okay. Yeah. Don't lose that. I would need to put it back. And you can then take out the driver. That is the driver. Ball bearing for a lap. First time it's been opened. First time it's been opened. Now inside, you've actually got an axle key. It's all the stuff stall. Soft. Wow, it's clean. If you have a look in there, you can see how the drive system works with the uh, with the driver. That's your driver, and that, that engages with the clutch in there. You'll see it's yes. a four four arm clutch inside. So if you have a look inside, Th- these things, yeah, oh, yeah. little wings going off it. Four, yeah, okay, oh yeah. So when that goes over, you just locate until it engages. It there, it's engaged and it's driving. So it's not actually yeah, yeah. cogs. Better we want on your. No, there's not cogs inside. Yeah. It's just oh, yeah, it's, oh, there is. But it's yeah. on the only on the outside. Yeah, you've got the sun pinion, <coughs> which is on this axle. Right. And then you've got one, two, three, four yeah. planet pinions, right. just like the sky, yeah. the sun, and the planets. Yeah. Yes. So the planet pinions are spaced outside on the. So that engages like that. Steve drops in. You can hear the paws engaging. Now what I'd like to do now... Just let Victor put it all back together. (laughs) (laughs) That little bit missing. I never use hammer fixes everything. Yeah. I never use hammer everything. Take the driver ring off. <clears throat> Get a hammer. <laughs> You're right. What was the hammer and the chisel? Tip, tip. Chisel. Tip, tip. That's a good one, eh? If it's not, I just don't think you've quite, quite got it. That's it. You got no tools to take that off. Too big. 
chairs and vice grips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's all good. I'm always doing it. That'll do, eh? Fuck yeah, you, you put some tension on it, too. What I'm going to do is absolute sacrilege, but I'll, for the sake of the exercise, I'll stuff this screwdriver. Okay, we're going to tell us how to clean it all. Come on, have a look. Have a look at this. Around here. Told you, Vic, hammer, mate. There you go. Oh, Just beautiful, there. guys. There's a bit of a ridge yeah. there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. See the where the pools engage? Yeah. I'll show you the pools that, in the middle. Grooves. Keep catching those grooves. Then you get the axle key out. You get that pull bearing out later. It's just your axle washer. Okay, four, six, seven, two. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's your gear ring. Holy shit! <laughs> no one is tough for the rest of it, do you? And these are lo little loaded pull springs in there. Yep. Got that magnet. Magnet. Fuck, it'd be easy to fuck those springs, wouldn't it? Yeah, you can actually. Uh, when we got short of them, we used to make them out of a wire brush. Yeah, just right. wrap them around the <laughs> screwdriver. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was another non-industry standard thing we used to do to get them going. Have you got that little mag sick. magnet? Yeah. The magnet okay. dish. The magnet bowl. Yeah. yeah. This one. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Right. Oh, look at that. That's one way of picking them out. Yeah, Whoever teased it, I would have tipped it up. I told him that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Tipped it up. laughs> I mean, me too. Oh, I just ran real and I told you. <laughs> yeah, and I told you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you don't want to do in the bush. Look at yeah. the balls. You need <laughs> <it> to take <laughs> the <laughs> These are amazing. <laughs> These are amazing hubs and uh, off road and everything. So we just need to hammer it out. That's the axle collar. It's working. Yeah. Okay. Man, so many bits to put with. And then you take out the axle key. And this is what that indicator chain yep. screws into. Screws into. Yeah. Oh, he's... oh, look at the so Just a oh. pin. Oh. Thanks, mate. And if we get the indicator chain. <laughs> hey, that's 1957. <laughs> uh, we don't know for certain yet. I will look on it. Made in China. Yes. Made in China. Yes. See how this fits? When I screwed <coughs> that out. Yep. <coughs> All right. Yeah. That's what it screws into. So it lifts up and down. And what it does is it actually li um, mm. lifts the planet cage. Where did I put it? Here it is. Oh, for the teeth, yes, yeah, okay. to go up and down to engage with the Very cool. three different or two different ratios because one ratio is fixed. Mm. Okay. So you've got two. You've got a, a low, a medium, and a high. So this this slide, this comes to X like that. It's a lot of grease going in there now, mate. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> grease and balls. Uh, has about twenty-five bits to put back. <laughs> 
Do you know the names of each one of those? K nine one two five. Maybe lost. So do you know the new modern Shimano internal hub? So they are based on this, do you think? Or, yeah, they copied. They, they copied. Right. Oh, I've got to be about the square part. There's a bit of wear and tear on those, eh? Yeah, actually. This stage I should take the axle out the other side. Take them apart, Victor. I'll let Sensei do it. Get it done before you gotta go to work. Oh, you'll have it done with Frank here. You'll have it done. Yeah. It might be easy. I was spending a bit late here. Yeah. Half past three. You're not gonna be home for dinner. So it ain't coming. Something's stopping it. You can hear the other pulls. Oh, yeah. I know what you have to do. Would you have to try and find the gap to lift yeah. it out? Yeah. You can hear the pulls working there. That's driving your low gear. Yeah. Stopping it, eh? Hammer You're just mm. that's, your pin, that's your pinion pins. There's one. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. <coughs> See another one. One more. Three. Four. That's twenty-nine bits now, Victor. <laughs> Might reach fifty bits. You see where the pins fell? Oh, there's yep. only three, that's right. Three should be coming up now. Would have taken a while to think up this half, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it just imagine it back yeah, in yeah, 1902, yeah, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, who thought of it? I'm not really thinking it came out of it. Stormy Archer. It wasn't Mr. Bell, was it? Or Pip Monroe? But Billy and I do. Billy Idol. Billy Idol. Eyes without a pain. Yeah. How do you see the other way? Fuck you, you're not in here singing today, Tom. <laughs> you want to um, join you in the competition? Nice day for the wedding. Fucking get all of here. Fucking the 1957 rebuild. Right, Victor? Yeah. 1957 rebuild. Restore. Restore. Right. So, yeah. To rip his throat out. Yeah. Eliminate the competition. I don't think I could actually go on television and sing like this. Yeah, they reckon that the grand final was a few free gap. Yeah. 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 Like, you used to sing it in your fucking lounge. Yeah. Three hundred people. Don't you see the man close your eyes? You still got it. Yeah, well, imagine everybody naked. Well, there's no point getting up and just laughing. You're getting laughed up. Yeah, apparently there's quite a few that get into the flickering final and just get fucking just freak out. Because you know, you know, you're nervous last time, but now you know what to do. The grand final was like. So that's the shell. It's the bear shell. It's a big it's a shell. <laughs> and these are all your uh, Jesus, opinions. Oh, fuck, and they're all coming in. Mm -hmm. So these locate well, those. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I trust you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's your... Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Your drive axle. Really? Really? really, it's not that... I don't think I'd be able to put it back together, but it's not that complicated, really. No, it's as long not. as you lay everything out in a line, yeah. so you can yeah. just reverse order it. Okay. Okay. Beautifully made, well, though. if you knew how it yeah. worked, you knew it properly, you know, you'd just figure it out. Yeah. Would that be turned on the lathe? That would be cold formed, I think. Big press. Yeah. And then machine. It's incredible.
Just couldn't tell that it's old. Yeah. It's very old. You could just wipe the grease off there and say it's brand new. And yeah. 1957. Or maybe 1956 and assembled in 57. And they're still using a lot of their machinery. The plants now mm. located in uh, Taiwan. They bought the company. Mm. Oh, a dollar, did you say? A pound? A Sunrise. Dollar. Sunrise bought the cup. So this one's not original. No, that's that's wrong. Yeah. This one's worn. That's right. Yeah. That's right, Bill. You're doing the right thing there, mate. You set all that stuff in a bath of degrees. You know how you were talking about um, um, diesel the other day for chains? Yeah. I'm thinking about making up a washman. Um, would it be cool to make a washman here of diesel instead of kerosene? Oh, that's yeah. another fucking thing. Oh, it's kerosene. Pin, pinion, what do you call that? Pin. Pinion pin. Pinion pin. Why well, is um, diesel degrease chains? Oh, it's marvellous. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a whirl in it. And kerosene. Yeah, and car got, carry's got a whirl in it as well. You don't use petrol because it's just a pure petroleum distillate right. and it just strips all the lubrication off your parts which you don't want particularly if you're cleaning chains right. but if you clean it in diesel or kerosene what sweet yeah. that's what the baths are when you yeah a yeah. little switch in there yeah. I've seen those in bike shops look at him he's got his toy look at that can you put your clutch in there Oh, is that why that wouldn't be gauges? Yeah, the clutch engages. Up that way? Put those? Yeah, yeah that way. No, upwards. And it's lifted. Yeah. Precision engineering right there. That's it, so that's how it works inside. <laughs> But see how the these poles then engage. I assume these pins must just slip out too. Yeah. Those, those poles yeah. then engage. They do too. Fucking hell. With that. Fuck everything's just sort of sitting in there. <coughs> yeah, yeah. See that? That's where the poles engage. So if you just put that on. That's why yeah, that's why mine's so loud, my rear wheel. If you put it on like this, so you put that on like that. Backwards. That goes in on the top. They're bloody amazing. They're just, as you can see, this is done That's cool. thousands and thousands of Ks. This is making me think of Iron Man's bloody thing. Look at that. His chest and his chest, yeah. It's sort of the same shape, you know, and he like plugs it in with the. <laughs> yeah, it's actually just an internal gear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. So you just push the poles in. Don't follow me. And away 